you have a 20 year old lady who is experiencing difficulty with closing her right eyelid and as a result she is noticing eye dryness and some irritation on her right eye and obviously she is now conscious and came to the medical facility now your task is to take brief history and do some brief clinical examination and then manage patient's concerns so you can start station 5 scenario by introducing yourself checking patient's identity and then then mentioning about the agenda of meeting with her then you can go straight into the brief history taking session you can ask her when did your eye problem start did it start suddenly or gradually is it on one eye or both eyes is there any associated problems like problems in your speech swallowing taste or hearing do you hear sounds ringing in your ears to check for tinnitus or hyperacusis next you can ask her about any vertigo nausea vomiting or any abnormality during walking any associated facial droop or distortion of the angle of the mouth any change in taste is there any weakness in arms and legs also any recent viral infection surgery to the neck inner ear or in the mastoid area behind the ear any relevant family history any disease running through the family like acoustic neuroma or neurofibromatosis obviously patient would not understand these terminologies so you can ask her that do you know about any disease running through your family any brain disease any skin disease in particular is there any comorbid factors like diabetes hypertension asthma is there any past medical or surgical history are you on any drugs or medications do you have any medication allergy at all after that you can start doing focused examination first things first you can do general inspection examine the patient at rest to assess facial symmetry any obvious drooping of the angle of the mouth tosis which is unilateral for this patient then ask the patient to close their eyes assess ability to close eyes fully is there any tarsography scars present dear candidates tarsography is the joining of part of or all of the upper and lower eyelids so as to partially or completely close the eye temporary tarsorephies are used to help the cornea heal or to protect the cornea during a short period of exposure or disease next you should assess the movements assess muscles supplied by facial nerve demonstrate the movements yourself ask patient to squeeze their eyes tightly shut raise the eyebrows blow out their cheeks smile and show your teeth then you can do some extra things like look behind the ear for a mastoid surgery scar examine for any cranial scars from acoustic neuroma removal assess for any hearing disturbance and assess gait is there any cerebellar or ataxic gait in particular then explain the patient briefly that you have bell's palsy the most common cause is infection caused by herpes simplex type 1 virus and it resolves spontaneously after a few days the examiners can ask you what are the causes of unilateral and bilateral 
facial nerve palsy unilateral facial nerve palsy are both upper motor neuron lesion and lower motor neuron lesion upper motor neuron lesions are cerebellopontine angle lesion like acoustic neuroma or meningioma in that region pontine lesion can be due to demyelination and vascular lesion cause of demyelination can be multiple sclerosis lower motor neuron cranial nerve palsy i mean unilateral are bell's palsy ramsey hunt syndrome parotid gland or tumor surgery cholesteatoma facial neuroma mononeuritis multiplex seen in diabetes sle pen sarcoidosis amyloidosis wegener's granulomatosis and traumatic cause the bilateral facial nerve palsy are lower motor type these are motor neuron disease giong berry syndrome bilateral bell's palsy lime disease myasthenia gravis sarcoidosis mobius syndrome next examiners may ask you which condition is associated with acoustic neuroma the answer is neurofibromatosis type 2 defect on chromosome 22 q12 this condition results in bilateral acoustic neuromas what is the management of acoustic neuroma it can be managed conservatively by observing the tumor size and growth then surgical resection can be done and radiotherapy can be done to shrink the tumor in a station 5 facial nerve palsy case the common concerns can be related to aesthetic problem because facial symmetry is very important for aesthetic reasons and patient may ask you will this facial nerve palsy resolve is there any treatment for it and if the patient is deep then he or she can also ask you will the deepness resolve or will it be permanent is there any treatment in particular for deepness